<laughs> Greetings, everybody, from the dang basement. This is your squicked Uncle Dinky, a uh, wicked Uncle Squinky, a uh, Skunky Wicky Winky. Hi. And no, I'm not. Wish I were. Stupid computer. All right. I figured that a serious snuff, such as Freiburg and Treyer's Santo Domingo, deserved a serious blind scent test. And, well, I'll, you know. Um, so I'm going to do this blind. Uh, you know, I just realized this is a snot rag from using snuff, so I may end up with, like, brown eyelids which really hasn't happened to me since uh, Surprise Night at Scout Camp. Um, anyway, uh, let's see what we got here. Santa Domingo. Now, I do not know what to expect from this. I've read no reviews deliberately on this one. I've avoided, so this could be a truly honest test. I got this tin, I believe, from Mr. Snuff. Uh, it's the smaller of the two sizes that they have available. Okay, the first thing I smell is that slightly tarmac or road tar sort of hint and leather. And kind of a Kendall, kind of Kendall Brown sort of scent to it. But there's stuff emerging from it that's very nice. There's almost a, an orangey tinge to the dirt, if that makes sense. Uh, I would characterize the grind as somewhere between medium and fine grind. Um, it clumps very nicely, uh, but I can't keep the clump together. The, you know, if I take the apple seed size pinch here, it's going to hold this up. Maybe you can see it. Probably can't. I just realized I didn't even check the camera for positioning. You know, I might, like, I might look like I'm all the way off to the left or something. Yeah, see, it clumps together. It stays on my finger. Contrary to the last pinch I just took, that's got some moisture to it. That's a nice snuff. You know, to me, many of the Freiburg and Treyer, and then maybe it's because I still smoke, maybe my palate isn't as good as it could be, um, you know, and other things that affect our senses of smell. But to me, many of these snuffs have a same sort of characteristic scent to them. Um, to be sure, they are all beautifully made snuffs. And from what I hear from other snuff enthusiasts, Wilson's of Shero does as good a job creating these snuff as these snuffs as Freiburg and Treyer ever did. Um, they're elegant. They're expensive. I mean, compared to the other Wilson's of Shero line and stuff, you're going to pay a little bit more per gram. But they are very, very worth it. Um, elegant snuffs all the way around. So far, I've reviewed the patchouli, which I like very, very much. And no, it doesn't smell like hippie armpit. Um and a couple of others. We're going to be looking at Bureau here in the next review. Um, after a couple of minutes, what do we got here? Drip is slightly bitter, but there's not much of it for the size pinch I took. Mm. This is just a really, really pleasant, earthy snuff with very, very, very slight uh, sweet floral or citrusy in the sense, like orange, not bergamot, but orange. Something is there. Uh, it's not orange like the Seville is, it's, but there's something. I don't even know what I'm smelling here. A little tarmac, uh, freshly turned soil, a hint of something sweet and floral. It's very nice. This could be one's all-day snuff. Um, nicotine, I'm not so sure, but I didn't take very much. I think this might be a moderate nicotine snuff. Um, love this. And on the squinty scale where one is throw it in the garbage and five is share it with all your snuffing friends, uh, this is a four to my tastes. You might like it better. It might take some getting used to because it isn't a gimmick scent like a strawberry or a pineapple upside down cake with mint leaves or whatever. Um, this is snuff. And it's English snuff and it is good English snuff. From the dank basement, four out of five on the Squinto scale with number D002, the post Costa Rica promised reviews. Thanks for watching. This blindfold. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute! No! No! This wasn't last night's fantasy, Hanky! Oh, shit!